name is Ashley and I'm a second year vet student at St. George's University and for today's vlog I'm going to take you with me for the midterm exam week of term three. Cannot believe we are already here. It's almost halfway between the term and wow. It's been a roller coaster <laughs> and these midterms are going to be no exception. I cannot believe how many midterms I actually have? I have four midterms this term. And the first one is clinical pathology, pathology, parasitology, and virology. But we have a lot of studying to do. My first midterm is about two days away. So I am going to get started with studying. And I hope you do enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a like and subscribe for more, and I hope you have a great time. I have been studying for about five hours now, so I am going to go ahead and get some lunch. Uh, one of my friends just reminded me that I need to eat and I didn't even realize the time, so <laughs> I'm gonna eat really quick. I just came back home so I could get some dinner and then I still do have two hours left of studying to do for clinical pathology but then I still need to do my Anki cards for today so I will be up for just a little bit longer. I just woke up. It is a day before my midterm for clinical pathology and I'm starting to get a little nervous so I'm gonna just dive in and start studying. I have about 24 lectures to get through today. Some of the information the professor has already told us you don't need to worry about studying this but then there's other stuff for the cytology slides where I need to figure out what cells I am looking at and try and figure out like the differences between like the liver versus mesenchymal cells and all of that fun stuff. So I am going to get to studying. got back from studying for the last couple of hours. It's around 7.30 p.m. now and I've been studying for about 10 hours today already and um, I went to the convenience store at Container Park and I also got some food there. I'm gonna eat dinner really quick because I haven't eaten yet and then I'm probably gonna take a shower and then I'm going to get back to studying. But I did want to show you kind of what snacks I got for tonight. <laughs> Um, so I have not had these cookies in like so long and they are so good. I got a poke bowl from Container Park. I got a Coke. I got a Crunch Bar. 
you don't see these too often on the island. So when you see them and you want them, be sure to grab them. Then I got some M&Ms, and then some Skittles, and then, yep, that is it. I also got a Pepsi as well. It is almost 11 o'clock at night, and I have put in a lot of hours studying today. So I am going to go to bed now, and I am going to get up at 4 a.m. to start studying again. My exam itself isn't until 1.30. It's a total of 40 questions for a clinical pathology, and we get like an hour and 40 minutes to take it, I believe. So I'm going to get some sleep, try not to stress too much, and then I will be back up bright and early tomorrow morning. Good morning, it is the day of my clinical pathology midterm. And it's stressing me out a little bit, but I did go ahead and get more sleep than I originally intended last night, just because I didn't want to be so sleep deprived before the exam, and my exam isn't until 1.30. So it's not super early, it's not like it's 8.30 in the morning. But I am going to eat breakfast really quick. I just got some egg whites on a bagel and also a donut because I need some sugar because I am exhausted. I just want to sleep. <laughs> I am back from my clinical pathology midterm. It went okay. It was pretty difficult on some of the questions. I think I flagged like 10 questions, which unfortunately means if I got all 10 of those wrong, I didn't do so well on the exam, but I would still pass. But yeah, I'm glad one of them is over, only three more to go. I'm going to head to the store really quick just because I'm running out of groceries, so I'm going to get some shopping done and then I'm going to get back to studying. It is already 9 o'clock. I did about two and a half hours studying for pathology, but I am so tired from today's exam and the lack of sleep the last few days. So I'm actually going to get some sleep and then I'm just going to get up a little bit earlier tomorrow, probably around 6 o'clock in the morning, just so my body has a chance to sleep and rest before I do another probably like three or four hours on Tuesday night because I have my pathology midterm on Wednesday. Good morning, it is October 10th and for today I'm gonna spend the majority of the day studying for pathology, which is tomorrow. I've already made myself some tea. It's around like 6.20 in the morning, so it's pretty early. But I'm just gonna study at home today. I'm not really feeling being on campus, because there's quite a few like schools here that are still going to class, so none of like the study halls are really going to be open. So I'm just gonna stay home and try and get some work done. I'll probably go out to campus later this evening but it's way too hot out already to start studying outside, so I'm gonna have to wait until the sun goes down. <laughs> Good morning, it is October 11th. It's the day of my pathology midterm. I'm sorry I didn't update you guys yesterday as much as I wanted to, but I just, I was not being very productive. I still studied for about eight hours yesterday, but I was just not mentally there 
and didn't want to pick up the camera. I'm hoping today goes better, but honestly, I'm still sad and hurt. And it's just, it's been really hard lately. But I realized I never told you guys kind of what the pathology breakdown is. So for this exam, it's also 40 questions and I only have an hour to do it. And they switched venues on us yesterday. So we are unfortunately in a lecture hall where we can see everyone and hear everything because it echoes. So that's not really ideal, but it is what it is. It's only for an hour that we have to put up with that, but it's just, it's frustrating. But anyway, for the pathology portion, we're doing a lot of the integumentary system, neoplasia, and inflammation. That's the majority of the exam today. So, I'm gonna get to studying. pathology midterm. It was actually really, really hard. I wasn't expecting it to be that difficult, but it was, so I'm not feeling the greatest about how I did on that exam, but it's okay. I have more assignments to do, and we still have the final exam. I believe a quiz, maybe? So I'm not too concerned yet. I'm trying to keep my hopes up. I won't find out the grades for any of these exams until the middle of next week. It is my favorite time of the evening. I am gonna get some sleep. It has been such a long, stressful day, so I'm very excited to get some sleep and rest up for tomorrow's long day of studying. I'm most likely going to study at home tomorrow just because it's during a weekday, so... Honestly, everything is going to be full tomorrow for classes, but I swear I feel like I'm looking and feeling more tired than normal this entire week. Like, it has been stressful and draining, and I cannot wait for this midterm week to be over so I can actually get some sleep again, just like a little bit more, because <laughs> working on like three or four hours of sleep a night. It's pretty hard. And definitely if I decide to pull an all-nighter, it's gonna make it even worse. So I am definitely looking forward to the sleep tonight. I'm hoping I can sleep until like six and not wake up earlier tomorrow, but we'll see. But I will catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is the day before my parasitology midterm. I'm still really really tired and I'm lacking motivation to study so I'm probably going to end up watching some motivational videos just to get myself a little bit more motivated to study but I've got a long day ahead of me and I just gotta get through it. studying for parasitology for about three hours now. I've learned a lot about heartworm disease in dogs and cats and then a bunch of the trico strong isle uh, parasites of ruminants, horses, and pigs. Sorry, I probably mispronounced that, but it is a mouthful trying to learn what these parasites are. It is lunchtime though, so I am going to get some food. I'm probably going to order food from The Great Kitchen. It's one of my favorite restaurants that is close to campus, so probably just gonna order something really quick. I ended up ordering a spinach pizza with lamb on it, so 
I'm gonna go and pick that up really quick and then I will get back to studying. <laughs> pizza order was a little messed up, but that's okay. I just got spinach with mozzarella cheese with alfredo sauce, and it is still going to be so good. Cannot wait to eat up a little bit and have some for dinner tonight. And I also have some macaroni and cheese in the fridge to help me get through this long night of studying. <laughs> so tired of studying. It's already 11.30 at night, so I am going to get some sleep, kind of. Uh, I'm sleeping until 5 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, so that'll be a nice change instead of waking up at 3 or 4. But uh, I just cannot wait for these to be done. Uh, one more after this. <laughs> Good morning. So it is Saturday. I apologize that I did not update you guys yesterday. I was just so exhausted after taking my exam. For parasitology yesterday, it went really well. It was actually the best midterm of the week. So I'm hopeful that this means good things for my virology midterm on Monday. For today, I am going to study quite a bit of virology just to make sure I understand the material. Um, it's very interesting material, so I'm hoping once I get to studying, I'll start like enjoying it and wanting to keep going. But you know, sometimes that doesn't happen, so I'll probably have to watch some motivational videos, try and like find videos on explaining what the symptoms are for each disease, or sorry, not disease, virus. Sorry, I just woke up. I'm still like trying to wake up. But other than studying today, I am planning on putting together a list of items that I want to sell to other students here. I just do this like two or three times a term just to like get rid of some stuff that I don't need, especially since I'm about to move to another apartment within the building. Um, I also gotta search for a roommate again. So yeah, a lot of things are happening today, so I need to get my day started and uh, let's get this studying done. <laughs> So it is the day before my virology midterm. <sighs> I'm up bright and early just studying on campus just because I did not want to stay in my room anymore today. And I just wanted to enjoy some of the sunshine and listen to the waves. But how I'm studying for virology is I'm going through all of the PDFs that we were given and I'm highlighting all the important information. I've done several cahoots. I did all of those yesterday. So I'm getting the material down. It's just I want to make sure that I understand the difference between DNA versus RNA viruses because there are several differences that we have to be aware of. And the exam tomorrow is only 30 questions in 45 minutes. So it's going to be a very fast paced exam. It's not worth a lot of points, but I just want to make sure I understand the material well enough just so I'm not getting like super frustrated during the exam. Well, I tried to stay on campus all day today, however, I got a super bad migraine again. This is my third day in a row where I've had a horrible migraine, so I'm trying to I don't know, reduce my stress, 
see if that's the issue. I've gotten plenty of sleep over the last couple days, so not quite sure what's going on. It's just, it's like my brain is trying to shut down and I have one more exam to go, so I cannot allow it to shut down yet. But I am just trying to get a little bit situated in my bed. I know you're not supposed to study in your bed, however, on days like today where I'm having like a horrible migraine, the bed is the most comfiest spot. And I can cover myself up with blankets and have the AC on. I'm just trying to get through all the studying. I've already gotten through the material once for today, so I'm doing pretty well on that. But I'm just whiteboarding out all of the viruses we have to know for tomorrow's exam for canines and felines. That's what the majority of the tests will be on tomorrow. So, yeah, it's just kind of what I'm trying to do. I might take a nap to see if that'll help with my migraine. I've eaten today. I've drank plenty of water, so I'm not quite sure <laughs> what's going on. But I'm really hopeful I feel better by tomorrow because I'm going out uh, once our exams are done. But yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. I think my brain's just totally done with the whole extra studying. I always study, but not like this, typically. Not like eight or ten hours a day. Like, it's just... It's constant right now. Just constantly studying. And my brain has had enough. I just woke up from a nap. I ended up having to take my strongest migraine medication, which knocks me out. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to use it, but that migraine was awful. But unfortunately, like, the side effect of my strong dose is that I feel like I've been hit by a truck. And I'm really dizzy. So I'm not sure how I'm going to get through the next couple of hours because I am so sore and really dizzy now. I'm going to try and make myself some tea to hopefully clear it out of my system. Thankfully, the migraine itself is gone for now, but once the medication leaves my system, then I'll find out if the migraine is still there. I'm kind of glad it happened now, <laughs> instead of like the middle of the week, because those were the harder midterms, but still, it stinks that this is like at the very end of midterm week, and I just need to pull myself together for one last day. One more day. officially made it to the end of my midterm week. Virology itself was pretty difficult. There were just a lot of questions on there that I was not expecting that the professor would ask, but overall I thought it was a fair exam. It's just I didn't study the parts that I should have studied, but that's okay. I'll see when I get the grades back within a few days, but um, once the exam was done, I decided to go out with a bunch of my classmates and friends to BBC Beach, and that was so much fun. We had a great time. We got food at Container Park. We got a couple of drinks, and then they took me to the brew for the first time, and it was actually really quiet. So I'm hoping like the next time I go, it'll be a little bit more lively. 
I'm sure it will be, but yeah, it's just overall, I think the midterm week went okay. I was struggling with a lot of personal stuff. I will be honest, I had a lot of mental breakdowns during the entire week that I did not show on camera, but just know it is normal if you are crying after an exam or before or during studying, like it happens to everyone that I've met. Um, and it doesn't make you any less of a vet student or a future veterinarian. It's just a part of the process. But the exams I had were really challenging. They tested us really hard on knowing the information. So yeah, I can't thank my classmates and friends enough for helping me get through this last week because without them, it, it would have been an even worse week. So I'm grateful that I have such a good support system with them. It does mean a lot. So once you do come to vet school, if you're in vet school, try and find those people that you connect with and can either study with or just talk to, just to be around other people. Because honestly, I've noticed that a lot of the vet students do not socialize as much as we should, just because we enjoy working with animals so much. We we're constantly studying. We don't take much time for ourselves, so it is important to do that. We do need a nice balance within school, and I'm still trying to find that myself. It's definitely easier said than done, but it's very important to do. I thought it was a pretty successful week, and if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like, and if you do have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear how your exams went. Um, no matter what stage in the process you're in. And for those of you who are getting their interviews and hearing back from schools already, congratulations. I cannot wait for you to experience all of this. It is still a dream of mine to be a vet. I still want to be a vet, even though these exams are rough. I will catch you all on the next vlog.